Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the caves of Dantooine. Hello there, bud. It's time to Dan the Tooine. I'm not really sure how we're going to Dan the Tooine, but if I stab something enough, maybe I'll find out. Probably these bugs in here. Are they even bugs? Can we even consider them? Viper? Kinrath? I mean, they kind of look like bugs. Also, wait a second. Let me try to figure out how to play this game again. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's right. So what I do in this game is I force lightning everything to death. That makes sense. Why did it play the song for ending combat? Oh, that's right! When we ended stream, we saw, like, some mercenary or whatever just walk through here and not get harmed by any of these kidna. No idea what's going on there. Hmm. Wait, yeah, it's that guy. Is he just walking back and forth? About to walk into us very soon. Yo, dude! Bro! Shouldn't be sneaking around like that. These tunnels are too dark to tell man from beast. What? Hello? Hmm. My apologies, maybe you shouldn't be so jumpy. I do not sneak. I'll be going now. Hmm. I do not sneak. What are you doing here? Crystal caves are filled with Kinrath. Well, apparently you know. I'm just exploring. What are you doing? The famous Spelunker? <laughs> hmm... What are you doing? I'm a rock collector. This cave strata and crystal formations are absolutely fascinating. Hmm? We have an awareness option. I'm definitely gonna be taking that. Let me read uh, some of the other stuff that we got. Kinrath don't attack you. But you're a mercenary. I do want to know why the Kinrath don't attack them, but maybe the awareness option will lead to something more. I am an explorer and a scientist. My profession as a mercenary enables me to travel the galaxy and explore caves on many planets. Hmm. Why don't they attack you? That's a trade secret. Hmm. I can force persuade. But I, uh, when you do the Force Persuade, they kind of get completely out of it, and so it's hard to talk to them afterward. Hmm. I'll try the Persuade option. Uh, or I will slice you up and feed you to the Kinrath with little pieces. That is a very evil option to do. Hmm. Share your secret. I suppose I can tell a fellow explorer. I recently discovered that these Kinrath discern friends. The common Kinrath have an odor emitting gland, keeps them from attacking. The gland will still function when extracted with surgical tools. When you carry the gland with you, you can avoid notice by the local Kinrath population. Oh. I guess that makes sense. It's like a identifying thing that they use. Hmm. Especially in um, these super dark places. I don't know how good their eyesight is, so maybe, yeah, this is just primarily what they use. Hello there, demon, and welcome to the stream, Jake. Hmm. Neplunker made me mad, I can't even think of playing Spelunker or Spelunky. Rip, dude. I've heard of those games, have never played them before. Hmm. These games really contain, like, a lot of XP, though. True. They're super easy to kill as well. Just two clicks of a button. Uh, do you have an extra one? I must have... What do you know about the other mercenaries? Um, hmm. Do you have an extra one, bro? Only in one gland, which I need to keep the Kinrath from attacking me. I could extract it into the for you, but the process takes several hours. Ah. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be very evil. <laughs> uh... What if I just take your gland from you? What will happen to you then? Let me try to persuade. Hmm. Here it is, careful. It's very slimy. Don't squeeze it too hard or it will pop. I'll take that gland back now. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, you messed up when you ran into me. Really don't trust a person with my kind of skin condition. Uh, I think I'll keep it. Uh, you'd better run for it. Uh, 
Well, my deepest apologies, sir. My need is far greater than yours. That will be so late. I have to get out. No! Ah! <laughs> That was such a petty little evil, I don't... <laughs> well... That made me feel good inside. Anyways, back to um, farming XP. Oh no, that did not go very well. Oh, oh geez. Oh man. Oh, ooh, ooh. 32 damage? Holy... Oh my god. Bro, don't be weird. Jesus, yeah, they do a lot of damage. No wonder why that guy immediately died. Don't run at me, bro. No! Ah! Blech. There's just random components in here. Freya's out of MP. Uh, I suppose we'll still be fine, as long as you don't run into a bunch of them at the same time. Just 72 credits here? Okay. This reminds me of just like the 3D version of the tunnels that we had to explore in the first Trails game. That was during the... I think they were mining and then there was just a bunch of monsters that showed up. Popped right out of the wall. Nice, good rolls. Hmm. They don't make a lot of money. Well, I'll discriminate against them. Whenever I steal money from them. Oh, wait, you, you can save from Force Lightning? Yeah! Don't do that. This. Actually, um. This could be a good opportunity. Uh, wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. The breath mask. Would this make me immune to contact poison? Is that a specifically different thing? Hmm. Don't know. You save for half damage. Ah, I see. Do you have a better heal? Not really. Hmm, okay. I guess we're about to find out if this will save me from contact poison. I should also save. You never know what might go wrong. Don't look at me like that. Ah. I wonder what Serbi would think of these creepy crawlies. They usually don't very like anything with lots of legs, so spiders are just off the table. But what are these things? Are they creepy enough sufficiently? There does seem to be a whole nother split path that might be a dead end. Uh, we'll probably have to come back this way anyways. The save button is a surefire way to save against poison. True. Kiwi would love them. Oh, I'm sure. Daskar's hunting mask. Nani? Wrong button. Attack modifier plus one, awareness plus two, stealth plus two, dex plus one. Nikto bounty hunters often employ these masks to help them track down prey. Daskar hunting masks were created by Hots to improve the performance of their minions. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. What do you have on? You have a targeting visor. Reflex plus one. Um, Dex plus one or reflex plus one. Oh, that's a save. Uh, give me you Dex. What is your main stat, actually? Yeah, your main stat is Dex. Plus one more Dex would give you 20, so that would be a plus five, right? Yeah, that works. Because um, what you currently have... Oh! Wait. I guess I, um... 
I had already equipped it onto you, and that's why you had 19. Rip, dude. Okay. Well, one more point and you'll get 20. Yes. Yes, indeed. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps oh, future Jedi yeah, was who visit this? this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved It was in this the cave, where there was all the Kinrath and we had to go through and we collected a bunch of crystals from this section. I, I believe we just kind of ran around in circles, collecting them from the eggs and stuff. Um... Tell me more about these crystals. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. You said the crystals absorb the Force? I feel strange but not weaker. The crystals here do not drain Force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the Force. Mm. Tell me more. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some oh, could be that, harvested that, and used that, for lightsabers. Okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I don't like the idea of leaving behind evidence. That can hardly be avoided. Even mundane actions of the basest creatures can create detectable ripples in the Force. A Minoc beating its wings on the plains could cause a sandstorm in the desert. And figuratively speaking, Jedi have much bigger wings. What's a Minoc? What if I destroyed all of them? That would create quite a large impression of yourself, and the crystals would eventually grow back. Hmm. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. A thing with small wings? Thank you, pun. I now understand. You're a hatchling. Taste my horror. Oh, you guys are chumps. Yeah, never mind. I mean, the keyword hatchling is kind of important here. Yo, what's up, Partial? And hello there, Jack. Is there more? There's a matriarch. Hello? Taste my horror! Alright. Alright, uh, cancel. Let me, uh, force lightning you and back. That way you can get both of you. Oh, damn. Got force pushed down. Okay, that's not gonna be good. Oh, I got a level! Nice. Star Wars Episode 2? Really? I don't remember seeing them, but then again, my memory of the movies are very vague. Fawn Crystal. Wait, what are her stats looking like? Constitution is at 21. What did we need it to get to? Plus 6? For like the best implants, right? Hmm. Why are you there again? I believe we needed to deal with the Kinrath that were in this tunnel. Um, it was given to us by the dude at the government building who was part of, like, the security team or whatever. Hmm. Yo, what's up, Complain Bird? They just announced the new DLC for Warhammer 15 minutes ago? Holy bananas! I did notice that, um, right before... Uh, I started up this game. There was an update for Total War Warhammer 3, so... Yeah, that's probably it. Hmm. The new Vermintide mission? I see. Oh, do you mean, uh... Vermintide 2 instead? Hmm. Space bad bug thing. They're in the Empire Strikes Back. I see. 
is yeah. We're not very smart. Contention. Makashi lightsaber form. Whenever I l get a lightsaber, it's gonna be a whole new world discovering what all these forms do. Oh wait, can I max this out? I can. I can max that. Cannot get Force Storm just yet. Can grab one power with this level. Get a bit of heal. Battle meditation. Dominate mind. That could be kind of fun. Uh, I'm going insanity for combat stats though. This power can greatly confuse an enemy force, inflaming paranoia and doubt. All enemies within a 10 meter radius of the target must make a will save at a DC of 5, plus the attacking character's level, wisdom, charisma, or cower in catatonic terror for 18 seconds. This power does not affect droids. So this is just a uh, AoE horror, yeah? Oh no, it causes all hostile creatures within a 5 meter radius of a target enemy. But this is much greater radius 10 meter, okay. Yeah, let's grab that. Make our enemies go insane. V2 got an update with a new mission, and Warhammer 3 got a new DLC. Ah, I see. Both things got updated. Awesome. I still do play Vermintide 2 on my off time. Oh. Okay. I think destroying the X can potentially give me a crystal, yeah. I don't think this is a good weapon, right? Yeah, that, that's much better. I. Just say do you guys word. have other options for this? You could put a mine on it. Um. I don't think that's gonna be worth it. It's just Kinrath eggs. Who cares? Ferk ran. That's a new crystal. I don't remember that from the first game. I, uh... Valmorite. Voldemort. Hmm. Uh, can I please grab this? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? A zero degrees crystal? Wow. For this me? Corresponds to you. This is very rare. Indeed. I got pet rock achievement. Hell yeah. Get the name lightsaber crystal. <laughs> uh, what does it mean? Uh, bah, I've gained a pet crystal. I hope I don't have to feed it. <laughs> you scoffed this gift, but many Jedi would greatly covet such a treasure. What makes this crystal so special? Uh, so I can sell it, then others may try to steal. Uh, what makes it so special? The crystal's bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the Force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. So, it's basically going to make a lightsaber that scales with me. Feed it the blood of your enemies. That makes a lot of sense. Is the bond dangerous? Quite the contrary. Picture yourself as a sieve and the force as water pouring into sieve you. Sieve six? This crystal draws from the excess water that escapes the sieve. Give me one second, my dudes. What is a sieve? Exploration into the English language. Civ. A utensil consisting of a wire or plastic mesh held in a frame used for restraining solids from liquids. Oh, that's what these are called in English. I see. Gotcha. Zero, not a cook? I can cook. I don't need to know what the instruments are called in English. Hmm. <clears throat> and Sol and the gang will help Luke find them in an asteroid inside a space worm? Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I really don't remember any of this. I should watch the movies again sometime. Hmm. Ammo to the gun, forcing to reload. I see. Well, it's always nice to have new upgrades. Does the crystal feed off of the light side of the force? Yeah. The crystal is in tune with you. It will use whatever water that pours through you, be it dark or light. I see. Okay. I probably do need this. And I will likely use it to make my lightsaber. Go oh, away, Kinroth. Don't need any of you. Be gone! We will destroy the ecosystem. Aha. Violet Nexter. Is there anything else in the middle? Doesn't look like it. Did I miss anything? I do not believe I missed any of the clickable stuff. New trailer hype. Recommend you watch after stream. Roger that. I'll check it out. Hopefully I'll... I'll know what's going on. <laughs> At this point I should. I mean, how many hours have I been playing the game? Screw Peter. Always. They always have like such the weirdest way of going about things. Okay. Yeah, let's go down this path that we have explored. Oh, that's a lot of Kinrath. Um, let's try out Insanity. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's a little bit awkward. It still works all the same. Do something! Don't just stand- oh, okay. Never mind. Yo, what's up, Tristan? Welcome to stream. Uh, you haven't missed much. I just kinda... Maybe... I accidentally stole somebody's... Kinrath gland. Forcing them to die. Went deeper into the cave. And got the... The crystal that was named after me. For some reason. Yo, what's up, Lorenzo? And, uh, yeah. That's basically all that happened. I have the Zero Degrees crystal. The thing that is most coveted by all. What is this? Isn't this one of the prison things? Who's been down here? Hmm. Chemicals? Just random? Hmm. hmm. Connie's shield. <laughs> Look, I'm sure nothing would have gone wrong thereupon. My dark side powers could very easily break me out. Also, I discovered that if you lie down, you can actually force your way out of the prison. So, yeah, the more you know. It can make you a little busted. I love being busted. Oh my god. Oh no, there's only one of you that's alive. Never mind. Die, Kinrath. Nobody loves you. All right. I think you're supposed to come here later. I see. SMT4 Apocalypse, quite draining doing the Apocalypse round. Oh, I believe it. Oh god. No! Okay. Oh. Oh, were you the two that uh killed the, the dude when he tried to run out? I guess so. Uh... Okay, yeah, what is that? Mercenary encampment. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, that should be everything here in the tunnel. Let me check my journal. Hmm. Does he Darth Vader? Apparently able to fight an army by himself? Uh, I don't know anything about the lore there, but whenever Disney is involved, it's probably not a good idea. You've killed the Kinrath Matriarch, this will hamper the Kinrath's ability to procreate, which should make the Kunda planes much safer in the future. Tell Zeran, the militia leader, about this to receive a reward. Epic. Hmm. Is there anything else? 
Okay. Camp of the Merc Spelunker you threw under the bus. Uh, that tracks. I do like throwing people under the bus. Hmm. There's a whole area that we haven't explored over on the side here. Is there going to be anything useful here? Hmm. Oh, there's still more of you guys out here? What the hell? Away! She knew! Oh, what are you doing over here, sir? All alone. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. You shouldn't have your back turned to an entire field of Kinrath and then call me out for sneaking up on you. What the hell, bro? Yo, what's up, Sanctuary Lore? It has been a while since uh, I've seen you in chat. Welcome, welcome. Kinrath, what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? I know what Kinrath are. I killed them all. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to coon down his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. Mm. Do you suspect foul play? I do. The Kinrath are dangerous, but as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? Hmm, where is this going? I was unaware of this stream. Well, as a rule of thumb, with the current schedule, I usually stream almost... Oh. I actually stream every day now. <laughs> at around this time. Except for Friday, which is uh, the Patreon and member stream. Did you know a new Total War DLC trailer just came out? Ah, uh, yeah. A complaint bird dropped by earlier this stream to let me know about it. I'll check it out when I can. Peter dropped a cold line in the comic. I'm surrounded by fear and dead men. I've seen that around. That is a really good line. Hmm. What's an atmospheric sensor? It's technical. I doubt you'd understand it. But I'd really appreciate your help. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. Mm -hmm. Any idea where they could be? No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. Hmm. Okay, I'll see what I can do. So close to 24-7-0. Yeah, yeah man. Very close. Very soon. They're about to turn into a mind flayer. My character is becoming one with the dark side. It's kind of a necessary side effect, I suppose. Wish you could ride your swoop in the remake outside the races. Big ass, but I can dream. I... I think that would be awesome. It would make traversing all these, like, wide open landscapes a little less tedious, you know? But uh, I also wonder how combat would work if uh, you did that. Attack a lot more interesting than magic? Hmm. I suppose it really depends on who you ask. As a sci-fi fan, I do like tech. But then, deep in my heart, I'm also a fantasy fan. <laughs> I, I can't really say which one I like more. Hmm. I guess that, yeah, that just leads back to this, right? The Enclave Courtyard. Hmm. Does turn into Dark Side come with Squid Face psychic powers? Hopefully. That would be pretty awesome. Face the lightning from where you cannot see. Hmm. But first. Wait, no, I'm not gonna love you up. I hear you. But the um 
Uh, no, stop it. What are you doing? Ah! Yowza. I am really not good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, music gone. All right, finally it? we can level up, people. <laughs> Magic and tech? I mean, isn't that just the best of both worlds? Attributes. Um... What should I do with Kreia? Since we're building you as support, probably wisdom and charisma are going to be the way to go. High wisdom adds modifiers to Jedi force points and force power saving throws. Potency. So this is like... the strength of the force power. Wisdom... Wisdom just gives you more points and, uh, better saving throws. So probably max wisdom here. Uh, the Jedi with high wisdom are also much harder to resist. Mm, in what way? <laughs> the force powers are. So that would also make Kreia better with stuns and stuff, I suppose. I guess wisdom. Hmm. There are a few powers that scale extra with Charisma, but they both contribute to save DCs. Hmm, Soka. We have four points. I might as well. I believe I say that every single time I level up Kraya. We have Master Force Focus. What is that? This feat adds plus four to the DC class for all, uh, to the DC. For all saving throws against this character's force powers, this feat is always active. This feat replaces improved force focus. Oh. So Kraya is just really, really good with force powers. Okay. Applying, um, status effects. Making people miss their saving throws. Awesome. Yeah, duly. Uh, we could go for Jedi Defense. All Consulars get that? Ah, uh, okay, cool. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is a feat. Yeah. What is all this? Besides shot, oh no, you're not really... You're not really using any of that, are you? I think I'll just grab this, Master Jedi Defense. Plus six to all deflection rolls. Yeah, sure. Hmm. You're... You're absolutely right, pun. I forgot. <laughs> Kraya's hand is, a uh, kind of gone. <laughs> oh. And, uh, yeah, she can't equip anything in the other one. You've been granted the following power to level force channel. Can I see it here? Nope. Um. Improved battle meditation or improved heal. Hmm. Maybe I grab improved heal. Yeah. You can get both? Oh, you're right. My bad. Wrong button. Um, plus two, plus two, plus two. And... Plus four? Holy Jesus. Okay. What are we gonna grab next? Probably grab Forest Redirection. As well as, um... Whirlwind. That or Insanity could also be fun. 
You got two points to spend, my dude. My bad. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, that works out. Now you have plus five on decks. Skills. I think we were putting some into computer use, but I already have other characters that can just do that. Mm. Yeah. All right. Plus five. Big chunky boy now. This mask is ugly. Let me get rid of it. Targeting visor. This is even uglier. <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, let's not do that. Alright, I'll just go with this. Immunity to the dark side powers. If that doesn't block my own powers, that'd be kind of cringe. Alright. How can I get into this facility again? The door on the side. Hide helmet. Hide helmet is very good. Imagine spending all that time in character creation just to put a helmet over your head the entire game. Actually, I think that's basically just Dark Souls. Welcome back to Kun. I have to go. I don't know why I talked to you. I just saw you, then I clicked on you. Don't worry about it. Also, did you guys not close any of the doors that I opened? It's pretty metal, not gonna lie. Hmm. What's up? It's you again. Well, you know who I am. I figure you've got a reason for coming back. You want something? Hmm. I cleared out the Kinrath cave. So you did. Here's the credits I told you about. In it for the, the money, achievement unlocked. Collect 10,000 credits. The aren't on the planes. Well, there you that go. was very helpful of you. You saved some lives today. You wanted I did. something. I also ended a life today. <laughs> hmm. What's Jerovic's connection to the militia? Who's... Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim uh, at the wait a minute. game with the last Yeah, we've survive, heard this before. That was a fair fight. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim you want. Okay, I'll be going now. Uh, 2,000 credits, 250 experience. Hmm. We have this as our bonus. Hmm. Redeem redemption. Oh, we can head to the Enclave Ruins. That's something we can do. Yeah, that's probably where we progress the main story as well. Increase the tension between settlers and mercenaries. If you could find proof that Zarin is endangering diplomacy, then Baron could use it to hopefully repair the damaged relations. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Start with Joran. Ah, uh, yeah, there was this as well. Uh, okay. Mm. Oh, I should head back to Telos and claim this too. Gotcha. Mm. Will you and Serbi do more Ink Tank Ben 10 videos? Uh. Not anytime soon. We, we don't really have anything planned for that. Mm, 
and from what I remember, uh, I don't think the Ink Tank videos were even monetizable. <laughs> Unfortunately, so yeah, probably not. We'll see, we'll see. Because that was entirely Serby's idea. If Serby has the time to record something and I'm free, then maybe it'll happen. Okay. The shop has an HK part to sell? Uh... The HK part that the shop was selling, I believe it was this shop? We already had a defense turret. Hmm. Be Sith do crime? Good idea. Let me just check again. Yeah, we got the control cluster, right? We already have that. I got it from defeating the HKs that came at us when we were at the Jedi Academy. Okay. Let's me check the mission again. You installed the control cluster. Okay, yeah. Now we just need a chassis. Chassis and processor. Night will speed. Thank goodness for night speed. Must have skill right here. And definitely turn off the effects for it. My god. Who thought that was a good idea? Check the map here. There's this whole left side we haven't gone down. Uh, I don't think we can go further than the mercenary camp, can we? Yeah, no. Blocked off. Okay. Oh. oh. Hmm. Maybe I should get more sleep. Operating on six hours every day of the week is. Probably not a good idea. Don't see that many nicer crusaders. Well, maybe they come in later in the game. Who knows? Can what is you that? Feel it? The wound on this world. It is centered here. Is that a bunch of if HK droids? In gathering the Jedi, they will come to this place. And if those Jedi are slain, then all that remains of the Order shall be drawn here as well. So that was the old Jedi Enclave, that was where we used to land the ship in the first game. And where we trained. Hmm. So the Jedi still live? Perhaps in the shadows of the galaxy we will know when the time comes. And I hope our enemies do not. I mean, they probably already know. Let's be real here. Okay. Announcement. You have caused us to expenditure a great deal of effort to find you, Jedi. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Threat. Come with us without resistance, Jedi. Or you will come with us in pain. Don't you ever know when to quit? Alrighty then. Um... Him with a quick disabled droid. There we go. Right, cancel combat, and let me move to right here. And then turn around here. Boom. Now this is efficiency. Hmm. Oh, well, there, there's the droid chassis. And a droid reference database. Hmm. Whatever happened to your robot from last game? I believe he's in the ship. We're trying to repair him right now. There's the chassis. But the other thing that we needed was... Where is it? A processor. Don't have that yet. 
Did you buy the other component off the merchant here? Um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. So, so to explain it again, we got the HK control cluster, which we saw in the merchant tab to buy here. Uh, from defeating the HK droids at the Jedi Academy, and I already put it inside of HK. Um, and then I just defeated them, and now I got the droid chassis. So I'm gonna go put that in HK. We're still missing the droid processor, but that's not in the merchant tab. So I don't know why I would buy something we already have. Way to go. Hmm. Misunderstood was the merchant. I see. Yeah, no, it was the HK cluster, whatever it was, which we already had. And uh, I commented on it, I believe, last stream that, oh, if we had missed it, maybe we could have just bought it here, I suppose. Who are we missing? We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That oh, Jordan's the, the name hound. of the guy. He's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? Look at that slow walk. What do you want? Um, I'm heading for the rooms of the enclave. You won't find anything there except on the lowest sub level, and there you'll only find death. Lagrex are everywhere. What are Lagrex? What can you tell me about Lagrex? Nothing. Find out for yourself. I'm not interested in training the competition. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us and get down to our business. Get down, get down. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Everybody's having trouble finding which way to go and they just disappeared to midair. Okay. You can look in droid shops and see if they have an HK part. Roger that. We're only missing one now, though. Have 30 points in computer use? Achievement unlocked. I think the game's a little bit bugged, but it's okay. Alright. Hmm. Several paths to go down. Is the layout exactly the same? Oh, that's a leg wreck. You're an interesting little bug thing. I see. Hmm. <laughs> That's why we watch. To see you find new and undiscovered bugs every stream. That's... yeah. That's just the experience you. that you get watching the Legit Weaves channel. I don't know why. It's just streamer things, I guess. It's like that one time during the trail stream, where I, I brought out Champy, put him on my head, and then we got so many rare spawns in a row. I don't know the statistics on that still, but that was pretty insane. Yeah, get at him, not me. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I got unlucky on the random parts. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Either way, I'm sure we'll be able to find all the parts inevitably. Whether it's through beating up the HK droids that are continuing to come and assassinate me. I hear you. For whatever reason. Or buying them off of merchants. Layout is definitely different, looks like. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's different. Because I mean, back here would be like the rooms, yeah? Maybe I... No, I'm pretty sure I got the orienta or orientation correct. Right. 
I'm almost out of force points. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Salvage a corpse. Dead salvager. I got an item, dead salvager? Did I pick up their entire corpse? What? You found a body of a salvager in the Enclave Ruins. Perhaps someone in the salvager camp would know who this poor fellow was. Okay, now I guess I'm just lugging this corpse in my pocket. Alright. This was the Kumbaya room. Or like Rex. Okay. Oh, nice dodge. Maybe a Pokeballs? Eh, that would work. I suppose. Yes. Priya, you wanna um have them taste the hotter? Maybe also move. I don't know. So you can actually shoot the thing. Where's Adam, by the way? The word. What the hell, girl? Oh, it's a deadly leg wreck. It's not good. Oh, that's a dead leg wreck. Never mind. Is the battle music slightly different here? Okay. And you want to do your thing? Uh, maybe go to solo mode. Oof. Wait a minute. Um. What about the data pad first? Mm. This journal was found near the non clean skeleton of a salvager. The last entry is of interest. I made it farther into the enclave than any other salvager. I discovered an untouched storage room. The computer in the power relay station should allow me to open the security door. Once I figure out how to sneak past the leg rakes that have made a nest there, I will leave Dantooine rich! Hmm. He never left Dantooine, unfortunately. Computer in the power relay station. Okay. Hmm. In which case... Let's get to it. You might want to do this a little quickly, Atten. Okay, turn off solo mode. Let's go! Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, you what? You spew fire! What the hell? The beans. Is that everything? Yeah, all right. Hmm. There's more? Layout's not different, you just never had access to the sign of the temple. I see. Recover! Hmm. Common fire-breathing pest. Bro, imagine if this actually was the case in the real world. Exterminators would be like the most badass job ever. You'd see like a bunch of ex-military guys going in. I'm glad that you're stuck there. That makes things a lot easier for me. Uh, I don't think this one is in good condition. Is there any way you can just bypass this? Nope. Alright. Well. Hmm. Access work log. Let's see these logs. View the pending work log. Tasks 1046B, head technician Durger Chester. I'm here investigating complaints of the storage room doors sticking shut. Following a recent mishap with a defective, flaming protocol droid, my assistant Tarn will be on hand to open the door for me if I get stuck in the storage room. Uh, hmm. Prior workloads? Main computer non-responsive. 
Verify that the main computer is active. Contact hex ignition. Main camera control. Uh, huh. okay. That's the entrance to the power relay station, which is where we are, right? Droid bay? Hmm. Hopefully none of these droids come to life. That would be cringe. Security door is non-responsive. Please contact head technician. Hmm. Is it because of this? Is there any way I can repair it? But, uh, because the... The entry read that it can be opened from data pads. Not that. Computer in the power relay station should allow me to open the security door. Maybe I have to use a spike? What the? Oh, I thought that was a leg wreck. No, it was just me. Hmm. Is there any other way I could go? It's right behind here, but I don't believe we can blast through the wall. Yeah. I'll do a quick save and try to use a spike there, I suppose. Just see where this goes. Overload the terminal. Isn't this gonna be a bad thing? Hmm. Specify time? Wait, doesn't this blow thing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> moments before disaster. <laughs> oh man. <gasps> That's great. Alright. I should probably give it uh, a few more seconds before I do that. How about uh, 20 seconds? <laughs> oh man. Why are you blowing it up anyway? I just kind of want to see what happens. Why not? Although, I suspect that the very reason why you would want to do that is to just get rid of the, um... I already forget their name. The bugs in this room, yeah? This doesn't... Oh! It opens the door! Never mind. That works out. Combat Enforcer. Is that a weapon? Did this guy... Oh, it's the freaking head technician. Oh, no. He was like, oh, yeah, my dude's gonna stand out here in case I get stuck in the room and release me. Uh-oh. Hmm. This is the work pad of Durgar Chester, the late head technician of the Jedi Enclave. There is a personal note written here. It's been a couple weeks and no one has come for me. I can only assume the Enclave was destroyed topside, and now I'm buried alive in here. I've tried using the equipment in the storage room to hack, force, weld, or blow that flaming security door open, but nothing I've tried works, and now I'm running out of food. The fact that you even had food in here is kind of surprising. So what is that? <laughs> That's great, Justin. Over here in Thailand, they're actually pretty good. Kubas scoundrel gloves. Okay. Is that everything? Let me do a quick double check. It should be everything. Bill beans. Is this really all that you guys wanted? 
You open this up and now you're rich as... I don't know. There wasn't really anything that surprising in there. Audio package. One plus one. Wait, does main character already have one? Yeah, a reflex package. Yeah, might as well, my dude. Hmm. Hmm. Five seconds was the right choice, not one. Well, at least we got to see something funny. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Computer use plus six and security plus six, dexterity plus five. Restricted to scoundrel. So that's only Atten can use this. The Kuban species is most renowned for their interest in culture, but they also have a penchant for less refined matters, such as smuggling and espionage. As they are not capable of interstellar travel themselves, their items are very rare finds. I see. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's just a straight upgrade from just this, the dinky stuff. <laughs> I've set the bomb timers. At how long? <laughs> Everyone dies. <laughs> you guys can trust me if we ever do a bank heist with each other. That is an endgame item? Well, to get plus five dax is incredible. Mm, I'm very glad we exchanged uh, one spike for that. Although... <laughs> My mess up earlier was... <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Hmm. Yo, what's up, Yellow Star? Welcome to stream. Hey, what was the other thing? Oh, that's right. Uh, it was a combat enforcer, yeah? I'd be leaving you in the car. What do you mean? I played, like, one hour of Payday 2. I know how to do a heist. <laughs> hmm. Alongside the Adrenal Alacrity Implant and Master Value, you have plus 16? Ooh. The damage. What's up, Wasabi? Hello? Combat Enforcer. It's a blaster rifle. It does 2 to 12. Um... Wait. What is the critical threat plus one to six? Literally nothing else has ever had that. Hmm? On hit attribute damage constitution DC 10? Attribute damage constitution. Attack modifier minus two. This powerful repeating blaster inflicts incredible pain and damage upon its victims, but is difficult to use effectively. Its origin is unclear, though there are some similarities to its design and that of Mandalorian weapons. Hmm. It means that on crits, in addition to double damage, you also get one to six extra damage. Ah, I see. Roll the one on your int and explode it. <laughs> that does sound like me. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it, it could be good with a few upgrades. It is fully upgradable, too. We kind of have them specced into blaster pistols, though, right? Yeah, we have two open fighting and um, blaster pistol. Oh, maybe we'll get another character who, who is proficient with rifles or something. Oh, no, dead, dead. Shit, back. Um. What did you, what were you using? <laughs> oh no, it was the oral blaster. As well as one to eight. 
It was the one with stun chance on it. Yeah. So this one? Scout Enforcer. Oh, Scout Enforcer also has the plus one to six. Huh. Yeah. This is one to eight ion, but this one also has a stun chance. Do you have a stun chance? No. Okay. Hmm. You'll get some rifle savvy guys down the road? Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can always keep it for them. But uh, the gloves are definitely going to be Atten's thing. What are your current stats, actually, by the way? Kind of curious. Oh my god! <laughs> Give him another point in dex the next time we can. He's going to get to plus eight on his dex. Modifier, Jesus. Alright, cool. That was worth. Let us continue the adventure. Down to the deep deck mines that... What? Stock door? What do you mean? The fine. I hear you. Yeah, let's just go around. Save? Sure. Wrong person, too. Yeah, I can just go around. No need to blast that. Another one of you guys. Be gone, foul beast! Stupid fire breathing pest! Where would that came from? Freya, what are you doing? Freya used the ultimate Jedi technique of turn back to enemy. Oh my god, that's a lot of leg wrecks. Ah, ha ha! You fools. Now you're all in one nice, neat line. Being a Jedi is awesome. Alright, another stuck door. Uh, I could probably find a way around. Maybe, potentially. Deadly leg wrecks. I think we should just chill for a little bit, my dudes. Also, let me drink some water. It's been one hour since we started streaming. Don't forget to drink water, my dudes. Very important. Or you could hit it with a plasma baton? It's very unrefined, but... Me? As an evil overlord Sith Dark Jedi. We don't resort to violence. I coerce my victims. As well as my doors to open. <sighs> With grace and finesse. You seem to go to a different area now. That is probably very important. I will not explore you. Oh, it's in the locked door. Okay. Hmm. Let me uh, clear out this hallway first. Go insane to the membrane, my dudes. All right. Oh, no, no. Eh. Taste the power of lightning. Ow. You're actually pretty good XP. I don't hate you. Alright, add it. Do your thing, bro. What is all this? Is that a dead body? Nothing on you though. Hmm? Ah, uh, footlocker. Hyper adrenal strength. Gotcha. 
We got a thermal tank filled with water. That is one of the best things to have, honestly. I love just, like, whenever I go outside, I carry my water in, like, a thermos. I think that's what you call it in English. It's just so convenient to pop it out of my bag. Drink water. Hmm. The cabinet also has loot? Oh, wait. Leave it alone. Where? Oh. <laughs> Completely missed it. Uh, okay, some grenades. Should definitely start using them if I need to. Everything else appears intact. Four repair parts. I have 29 repair parts. What would this do for me, though? Wait. What will you do? Uh, access the work log. Volume not found. Data corruption. Please contact head technician. Hmm. Zero repair skill. Well, that's unfortunate. Access system commands. Command failed. Mainframe disconnected from children. That's sad. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we got a whole of a lot done with that. <laughs> um... Yeah, well, anyways... I wonder what uh, repairing that computer would have gotten us. Don't know. You got some extra XP? Eh, I don't know what's better, the XP or the parts? <sighs> Probably the XP. Hmm. Or honestly, I could probably switch somebody out with a higher repair skill and just do that. Yeah, we can do that. Because I'm not in combat. And thankfully, I don't have to go all the way back to the ship in this game to switch people out in my party. Who has a better repair skill? Probably Bowder. You are unable to change your party at this time. Never mind. Um, let me check the stats again. Zero. Zero. Seventeen. Okay, try it. Right. Yeah, it only costs one part with Kraya. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh. Okay, log out. Hmm. One hundred ninety-five with one part gone. Water in the Thermos thing? Awesome. We can be Thermos brothers. We may not be Battle brothers, but being Thermos brothers is as good as being a Battle brother. Uh... I will find them too far. Do you heal? I think they heal a little bit when they attack me. Region 4 every turn. Ah, that's what's happening. Everyone down. I feel like it's a better cost efficiency if I just disable them and then have Atten go to town. Since he doesn't have to use um, his MP to do any attacks efficiently. Actually, you're right. Yeah. What would the Lagrex fear? What is their natural enemy? 
Yo, what's up, Abdal? Welcome to stream. Is 18 seconds almost up? You're still cowering. Oh. Uh, I guess Craig can push you down on the ground. Hmm. A light side character? Wish they were a scoundrel. I guess we'll meet them. And then I can convert them to the dark side. Maybe. Oh, it's another one of these setups. Okay. Oh, what's past here? Wait. Oh, wait, I can level. Already? My god. An arm specialist four. Boop, boop. Powers. Resilience. Yeah, that'll be super cool whenever I get to use any of that. Um... I need level 18. That's gonna be a while for that. Choke. Gonna be kind of fun. Dominate mind could be fun for conversation. Yeah, I'll grab that. Why not? That's what I use to gain subscribers on YouTube. Dominate mind. Um. Hmm. Reactivate. Some droid parts. A little bit concerned as to what might go down here, but hopefully nothing bad will. I'm sure. Awesome. Ah, oh, there's a workbench right here. <laughs> the HK droids have uh, done some pretty good work on my viewpoint of droids now. Bot hand sensory visor. Both and maybe? I don't know. Armor proficiency light. You're immune to crit hits. Awareness 4, Demon 3, Security 3. The dex plus one modifier though. See what this is about. Die to get the rebellion. The plans for the second Death Star? Oh, really? I can overload the terminal again. Pending work log. Page 103. Uh, it's Dirk or Chester again. I can't believe Circa Core released a new protocol droid model with so many flaws. Uh, I can certainly believe that. The batch we ordered last month have all fried out from overheating. The Circa reps said the droid was designed for temperature-controlled environments, such as starships, but I don't buy it. Hmm. The real problem is that the Sith cursed power cell of the new model runs too hot. Sith cursed power cell. And worse, the output modulator was installed right next to the cell and is the first thing to get melted into slag when the cell overheats. Needless to say, without a functioning output modulator, you could jostle the droid and it would pop like fireworks on Republic Day. Hmm. Sith Curse is like a swear. Ah. I see. Makes sense. So I'm working with the Circa rep to get these defective droids replaced. In the meantime, I power down the new protocol droids so that they don't cause any more accidents. Hmm. Yeah, we did all of this. Okay. can we do? Um, 
If it's repair, I'll use Kreia. What is it? I'll save first. I don't know if this is going to even be worth it, is the thing. But I just want to see what it does. Its speech system doesn't seem to be working and has very limited range of task. Diagnose the speech system. Been melted due to their proximity to the power core. Yeah, that's what they were talking about. Uh, engage! Meet and greet routine engage. Once you end this session, the protocol droid will begin patrolling the area. Okay. Where is he going? Is he gonna walk right into that ball? Um... Oh! Uh... <laughs> I think I should open the door for him. Okay. I Give me you. one second. <laughs> Bro, you, you good, man? Uh, can I... Oh, it's a stuck door. Okay. Here, don't, don't worry, bro. I got you. Get out of the way, Adam. Hiya! Oh. Cripple you with insanity. Just say the word. What is the board doing? What happens if I repair all the droids? Hmm. I see. Maybe if I repair them, I can just keep on, like, getting experience from that. But it would also cost me to repair parts, which uh, I'm not too keen on spending all of them right here for the droid meet and greet. It's uh, not as exciting as what I hoped it would be. There might be an achievement associated with it, but I wouldn't know. Cheeky little bugger. You get XP, yeah, they walk around fighting Ligrex. Ah, uh, XP is good. It's gonna cost two for each one, right? No, it's gonna cost three for the initial repair. Uh, how many do I have? I have 25. Uh, I can do one more. Maybe another more. Okay, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hopefully that was um, parts well spent. Meant to have VTuber avatar holograms around them. Be physical VTuber representation for the meet and greets. That would actually be kind of sick. I wouldn't mind that. Oh, wait. Why am I using this weapon? Oh, that's right, to open the, the door. What's over here? Shoot it! Uh, maybe walk a little bit closer. Awesome. Don't think so, but oh well. Yeah. Uh, story of my life. There's not seem to be anything going on in here. Oh my god! <laughs> well, um, this is a little bit awkward. Uh, Atten? You might want to step back. Okay, you know what? Goodbye, Atten. Oh. Well, that works. Time to even the odds. 
No, don't go into melee. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, Adam. <laughs> Time to even the odds, he says. I guess he wasn't wrong if he's like, you know, making it easier for the enemy. You found a will on this salvager. The will states that all of his possessions are to be left to the other dead salvager you found. Wait, how do we know that? We don't even know who the first dead salvager is. You can tamper with the will so that all the salvager's possessions go to you? Yes, I will. Uh, salvager's will fake. This data pad has the will of the dead salvager. It is badly misspelled. It used to indicate that if he died, his possessions would go to the other salvager that ventured into the sub levels with him. Now it says that his possessions go to you. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello there, says Mr. Lygrick, while breathing fire onto me. What a jolly old fellow. Unfortunately, he is dead now. Right. He's skidded here. Wait. Is someone out there? Anybody? Help! Legricks are everywhere! Help me! I'm trapped in here! Uh. Don't reply. <laughs> Altering a will is pretty serious crime. That's awesome! That means we're doing bad. Hell yeah. General Kenobi, you are a bold one. <laughs> hmm. Are you drawing? Uh, yes, yeah, yes I am. I locked the door in here. I thought I was gonna be leg wreck compost. Did you take care of him, stranger? Hmm. Could you open the door? I could. But if there's another one of those damn beasts out there, I'll stay put. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they're dead in this area, yeah? You must be fierce with a blaster then. Give me a moment. Roger that, Lorenzo. The Have a good rest of your day, leave. and thank you for stopping by. Thanks for saving me. I thought those leg wrecks had me for sure. Hmm. We need to get the quest done. Uh, defective moisture evaporator. Oh, uh, oh. what do I know about moisture? Oh my god, he's coming to meet and greet us? Well, I, I told him I wasn't sure if it would work or not. You're lying. Hey, uh, can we please talk about this later we're, when we're not in danger of being eaten by leg wrecks? No, we will talk about it now. Sorry, I gotta go. You can meet me in the salvager camp. You would run away from me? Die then, coward! <laughs> Uh, is this a smart thing? Then again, I suppose being evil isn't really a smart thing. Hmm. Do it? Yes, evil. He's pretty ungrateful. You guys are so evil. <laughs> Loot his corpse? Oh, yeah, that's true. He might have something good on it. We'll probably lose points with Kreia, though. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, well anyways. No, stop! Don't hit me, weirdo. Shouldn't do that. What are you doing? Where are you? Wait! What? <laughs> Look at these idiots! Where in the world are they? Okay, shoot him. Good thing we got the drop on him before he knew what was happening. Oh. Yes. Where are you booking it? My god. Hmm. Hey, there's the evaporators. He's got two vibro swords, which he didn't use in combat for some reason. Disrupting emitter and his clothes. Hell yeah. I just said he was ungrateful, he didn't condone any particular course of action. That's a good cover pun. 
that would probably hold up in court, too. Alright, well, he's dead. And it wasn't us who did it. Oh! Oh, he got meted and greeted. Hell yeah. Oh! There's still more that need to be meted and greeted. Hmm. I thought he also dropped something else. Uh, my loot RNG has been pretty bad, so... I'm not expecting to get anything that you guys would normally get. I'm expecting to get absolutely nothing, so... Probably don't expect much. <laughs> hmm. When they expected Grodd to back them up, but he was getting beat up by an old man. <laughs> I hear you. I remember that scene. What's going on in here? Hmm. My loot RNG bad. Yes, pun. It's bad. I shouldn't have gotten all the end game items like up front. Sneak attack! Oh my god! Sneak attack seven? Jesus! Added, you're gonna do way too much damage! Hmm. I think you got something when you killed him. Yeah, I accidentally clicked right where the area was for closing that window, so I didn't see what it was. I could probably look through my inventory though. <laughs> that was a very uneventful level. Boop, boop, boom. Bam. Boom. The power! I have the power to support you. Um. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Cool beans. Alright, let's check the inventory. Is it, like, gonna be a quest item? We have, uh, some lightsaber stuff. Hmm. It's gonna be a lot of stuff that I have to go through. Hmm. A lightsaber part. Ah, uh, oh, okay, I see, I see. So yeah, it was, um... It was probably one of these things. Oh, I see. The entire middle part of the facility. Still left unexplored. Need one more? We're so close to finally being able to use all these techniques that the game keeps giving us when we don't have a lightsaber. Oh, the tampered will should cover it once you made up with Zaron again? Hell yeah. Thank goodness that we tampered with that guy's will. Oh, what the? Bro was hiding. Just say the word. Whoop de doo. There was a hidden med pack here. Where did you guys come from? I think the sound effect just kind of layers on itself, so the more enemies that you hit it with, the louder it becomes. It's actually kind of funny. Same with the force lightning. It just gets really loud. Is that it? Looks like it. Wait, can we use it with the sword?
against Jedi. Uh. More blaster deflection. Better against many opponents. This gives more regen and force damage. For many opponents. Huh. Okay. Deflection parts do nothing. Ah, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you can't really deflect uh, the, the weapons with a regular sword. Just say the word. Force channel is probably the thing we're gonna stick with. I agree, pun. Uh, Mandalorian Ripper. Yes. I hear you. Looks like everything else has been looted. I mean, this is an easier to get to room, I suppose. Hmm. Is that everything? Yep, looks like it. All right. Finally time to progress. Wait, is there anything in the middle here? Nope. It's just a skeleton. Okay. So, the one unopened door? Yeah. We need to head over there to the Jedi Archives and probably end up finding the person that we came here to look for. Very pretty fountain. I agree. If only I everyone wasn't dead. Where in the world are you, Sir Atten? There you are. Mando Blaster, you give it to Atron and Kraya. Is it that good? Ooh, three to eight. Yo, what's up, Stabbin? Hmm. That's a lot more damage. 18, 20. Much higher crit, too. Crit chance, I mean. It's also fully upgradable. Plus two to hit should make up for that offhand penalty too. Hmm. Yeah, cool. Unstoppable goes through shields, that's right. That keyword is quite important. Made to be used in a dual wield build in the offhand, I see. This blaster pistol. Is that what the uh, attack modifier plus two thing is? That it's plus two to hit? Or is it the balance plus two versus two weapon penalty if used in the offhand? I think, um... Oh, all of these have that. All right, cool. Pure Pazak. Pure Pazak. As if Pazak was easy. Let me take care of this. Did these people die in their sleep? That's unfortunate. Jal Shay Mentor Armor. Who's up? What's up? So, hmm. The attack bonus is in addition to the balance property. Mm. Plus two to hit. Balance is for the dual wield offhand. So if you do it in offhand, it gets rid of the minus two hit chance normally there. And gives you a plus two to hit. So it's basically a plus four. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. There's so many things to learn. Oof. I wonder how I'm gonna fare once we finally start playing Pathfinder. Defense bonus three, region force points one. Defense bonus four, gives dex bonus. Oh no, it's max dex bonus is plus four. Skills persuade, charisma four, wisdom one. 
Zhao Shui mentors are unparalleled in their intellect and often serve as highly respected advisors and teachers. The Zhao Shui concentrate on intellectual study of the poor, seeking to understand it at a mental level, rather than a spiritual one. Zhao Shui are typically exceptional diplomats, but are less successful in physical pursuits. That sounds like us. Charisma plus war. Oh yeah, that's uh, that basically means that our force powers are going to be very hard hitting. I'll take that. That's a plus two to your force power DCs. Uh, let's check uh, our current stats. I. That is a very interesting looking armor, that's for sure. Mm, three stats at 18. Neato. Uh, it's regrettable that it hides my massive dumpy, but... I suppose for power, we must sacrifice. God damn it. I hear you. Doom. Oh, 200 credits. Just randomly here. Awesome. Good thing we went down this way. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, yeah, that's the last thing left. The meet and greet was awesome, my dudes. Hmm. Security and demolitions. <laughs> Yeah, so you don't have to constantly switch to a different character. I was also thinking, like, if we ever played Baldur's Gate, maybe you just have the main character be that guy, who, you know, who is the jack of all trades, you can do all that. So you don't have to switch between things. But then again, if we were to play it, I'd probably play it with the friends, so... We could probably just build our characters to specialize in things anyways. Hmm. You must hide your most powerful weapon so you can pull out a big climactic moment. You're right, you should. <laughs> Just in the final battle of the game, I take off all my clothes randomly. <laughs> I'm sure that would really confuse the enemy. <laughs> they wouldn't know what to do with themselves. Mm. Oh. Bard is good. Because they get very good bonuses to talking. I believe Bard can go down three different subclasses too. One's really good at combat, but uh, I guess kind of the main feature where people play Bard is because you can insult basically anybody and do psychic damage. That is pretty funny. Mm. It'll be like taking off your trading weights, hell yeah. Oh, I've released the dumpy. <laughs> it's like in that uh, final episode of One Punch Man. You've broken the armor that sealed away my infinite power. Hmm? <laughs> oh, that was probably a bad time to drink water. <laughs> My dude, you're just standing there? Okay. Hi. That was an awkward bow. Uh, you must be a gentleman. <laughs> I wasn't expected to find anyone else here alive. I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic. Although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. Um... What are you doing here? Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. That's not the only reason. The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave, and once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay. To protect what was left. Hmm. Left? Much had been taken from the Enclave, both by raiders and others. I wished to preserve what I could. Hmm? What others? Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts, they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. I suspect the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records. But I do not know why. You mentioned holocrons? Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. 
It is almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi, and even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Mm hmm. Who just stands in the middle of a room? Why not sit down like a normalish person? Sometimes I entertain the idea of just acting like an NPC. <laughs> Or, you know, randomly going out into the woods and, like, putting down a sign that says, Hold shift to run. <laughs> uh, that would be great. But it'd also probably be a huge waste of time. Unless if we did that for content. Hmm. Why is that? Much has been forgotten in recent wars. And I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. The destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War. The teachings Osus. of Master Arca. The adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions. All of these things are in danger of being lost forever. What else would you like to know? Uh, okay. I guess this guy's really into history. I suppose we need people like you in order to make sure that, you know... Things don't go missing. Or gaps in the timeline are created. I would also go stand in front of the door if I heard someone kill everyone in the hallway, then heard 20 droids while past saying, Hello, how are you? <laughs> really? Uh, for me, I'd probably go and hide. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Do you know what happened to the Jedi? No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way, especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work, something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. You said that it's really not the way of the Jedi to abandon the Republic, but the Jedi basically abandoned the Republic because they said it's not the time to move yet. I feel like it was just us and uh, who went with Revan. We were like, yeah, let's not abandon the Republic. But then that, you know, we also know how that turned out. Hmm. Why do you think people hate the Jedi? It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life. Insulated, but the reason the Jedi Civil War grass. was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi with different philosophies. Hmm. Do you hate the Jedi? Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance, and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have, but you know this. Hmm... Hmm. I don't know too much yet about the actual lore, but I also feel like people really put the Jedi on a pedestal. But aren't the Jedi also prone to, like, normal emotions like anyone else? They're kind of just people too, you yeah. know? Hmm. <laughs> That's very true for me, pun. What do you mean? Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. Hmm. Do you blame the Jedi who turned toward the Council? There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings, or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan, and Malak. How could they not see the danger they posed? 
And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi code that they were missing. Hmm. This guy puts the idea of a good Jedi on a pedestal, but not the Jedi themselves. That is an important distinction. Hmm. <laughs> If the old lady wasn't doing anything and, like, just not helping her would be kind of a petty evil. We don't do petty evil here. Unless if I do petty evil. Yeah, then comment about it. That makes it okay. Hmm. Revan and Malak would receive the same training as I did. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? I was him. What do you mean? Or, well, in our canon, her... Uh, that go on. Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War, due in no small part to her apprentice, Malak, who turned on her. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. Perhaps in her conversation with the Jedi Masters, they were able to convince her of the rightfulness of their actions. Hmm. Do you know who trained Revan? Revan had many masters. Zar, Dorak, Master Kay before Kay left for the wars. Towards the end of her training, she sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that she returned to her first master at the end of her training, in order to learn how she might best leave the Order. Hmm. What else would you like to know? Uh, we literally just opened this door. He's standing in the same position in the middle of the room, just talking about the history of the Jedi to me. <laughs> this is an interesting conversation. Hmm. Why do you work for the Republic? I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantooine and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. Uh... The efforts on Tilos, you say? <laughs> hmm... Why Telos and Onderon? The Republic is fragile right now. Telos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. If Telos um, is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string that. of worlds along the rim. Hmm. He's neurodivergent. I get him. I see. <laughs> I am unfortunately not neurodivergent, so I don't get him. <laughs> Onderon? Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. Hmm. Why is the Jedi Order important? The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change the face of a world, or a galaxy. I suppose I still believe that might be possible. Despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. That is why you must hide the dumpy. You're right, Tristan. He wouldn't be able <laughs> to stop talking about how big my dumpy was if I had revealed it. Hmm. This is like talking to a Warhammer fan about the latest figurines. <laughs> uh, hey, so about your figurine collection. Well, here we go. 
Let's talk about something else. What else would you like to know? You mentioned holocrons? Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It is almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder <laughs> what remains of the Jedi. I'm and sorry, even the fun. Sith. Don't also hurt me. Than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, what else would you else? like to know? You look familiar somehow. Weird. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? Okay. Um. Tell me about the Republic? I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. Its influence is stretched thin, and it grows weaker with time. What happened? The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to also, the galaxy. Also, is that a dead body behind you? I just noticed. The forces that Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, <laughs> trade routes disrupted, and the Republic fleet was almost decimated. It was almost the end. But at that last year, the year before Revan vanished, Revan's assault on the Republic stopped. No one knows why. But it was all that saved the Republic. The fleet the Sith had amassed was no more, and the remaining Sith turned on each other, destroying the Academy on Korriban. It did not matter. Revan had already won. What do you mean by that? The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover, but if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like to know? Nothing. I'll be going now. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? Oh, oh, oh my god. Um... Uh, they need to answer for what they did to me. What answers do you seek? It has been my experience that Jedi rarely answer such questions, or instead indulge in half-truths. I need to know why they sentenced me to exile. Exiled you? It is strange they would sentence you and not speak honestly of your crime. They claim that it was because I went to the Mando Wars, but something has emerged that has changed my mind. It is not the Jedi way to lie. Well, no, that is not true. There are times when truth is concealed if they think a greater good can be achieved. But when such things are done, it is always done with the intention that the person they withheld truth from cannot be trusted with that knowledge. That it will bring harm upon themselves and others. I mean, yeah, Tristan, I'm, uh... I don't think it's a good idea to go around talking about how we're like some badass Jedi going to come and kill all the other Jedi who, um, <laughs> you know we probably don't want to warn them that it's going to happen. We should just do it when the opportunity arises. Hmm. You know, it had to do with, uh, uh, loss of connection to the Force. What do you have to say about that? Perhaps there was some greater danger in you knowing the reason than in the reason itself. Strange. Mysterious are the ways of the Jedi. Sometimes they see things the rest of us do not. Other times, such sight brings arrogance and a fall. In any case, it seems to me like our goals are compatible. If you would have me, I can apply my knowledge and skills to helping you find the answers you seek. Look, we're already full up. We don't need anyone else. <laughs> we travel light. Uh... Oh, ancient history. Recruit the disciple. I already got the achievement? Hello? Hmm. Warhammer 3, you got a new trailer? <laughs> That's the third time I heard of this stream, last old one. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out when I can. Hmm. Uh... I guess we'll need all the help we can get. I can shift your thinking to the dark side later. Did you just shrug at me? Bruh. Level 6 soldier. I see. 
Uh, do I? I don't really want you. Not yet. Hmm. Okay. Influence came with Disciple. Influence lost with Acid. Sag. Three dead mercenaries lay here, accompanied by signs of combat. Each of the mercenaries bear evidence that they were killed by a lightsaber. Hmm. As cool's orders. This data pad contains orders from Asko, the leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Varuk has wandered into the Enclave alone. You will take a full squad and capture the Jedi alive. Bring him to Arnuk in the Kinrath Caves to await transport to Nar Shadda. He will fetch a fine bounty. So you're talking about that prison that was inside of the Kinrath Cave that I walked into. Okay. I'm assuming there's probably something going on there now after discovering this. Whose statue is this of? Also, why was the disciple just standing here? Weird. Such a weirdo. I guess I'll just have to talk to him to learn more. But man, talking to that guy is... All those long conversations are going to be super long-winded. Doesn't seem to be anything else here in the archives, though. It's all just a bunch of computers is what kind of keyboard is that it's a block it's got one button on it <laughs> all right hmm let's get out of here it's all the bookshelves and it was blind to everything else makes sense man's love for books blinded him a keyboard for walkies <laughs> Uh, it's a me, Exposition Man. I'm here to Lord Dump straight on your head. Hmm. That man reminds me of the YouTube comment section. For real, for real. Alrighty. What the hell? Alright. You could have not asked him all those questions. True. But then I wouldn't have any information. Would I? Hmm. Right. Um. You're not here for peace, right? Braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. <laughs> the robots are just walking around. <laughs> well, all of this is ha Can the robots meet and greet these guys too? I don't suppose you like to negotiate a peaceful resolution to the situation. <clears throat> I'm afraid your death won't be. So, this is your threat? Is Terra what I'm supposed to feel? We know a thing about Jedi and their ways. And now, Jedi... Why do you talk like this? Alright, come on! Just, you know, this is probably gonna be the last time we ever see you anyways, so... Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, stupid idiots. <laughs> Unlimited power! <sighs> that wasn't even a fight. That was pathetic. Come here. The power of the dark side. You see it here. Right here and right now, folks. Alright. Do you not have anything? You're worthless to me. Alright. Mm. Okay. 
Oh, later, noobs. Look, man. They wandered into this boss area themselves. Mm, they got all the warnings that the PvP was enabled, and they thought... If there was a mod like that, Tristan, it would be epic. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's probably thought about doing that. Zaren? Oh yeah, we we can do that. I hear you. He's definitely got something to say, that's for sure. But to me. Why is he staring at me like that? Alright, uh, let's try this again. Oh, uh, well, not on you. Where that came from? More where that came from? Oh, Prey applied a different kind of CC, so it ends up canceling my other CC. That's interesting. Caved in door over on this side. I wonder what secrets lie behind it. Can I even open this? Judging by the damage to the exterior is completely caved in. Uh, I guess we can't go into the upper levels, which was the area that we were used to. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. And then you run over here, we go to the right. We saw a Nemo? Over here, right? Nemo the Jedi? But then whenever I ran over to this side and then I tried to enter, the door was locked. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. We have a course to deliver. You're right. I feel like there's a lot more people over here. Hmm. I don't know if we can find Nemo. I'll try my best. Hmm. Hello? Jaren knew the risks. He wouldn't do anything different if he was in our situation. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Nemo died in the ruins? Rest in peace, Nemo. You came back from the sublevels alive. Only been a couple of folks who've done that. That's true. I'm just so good. Ah, the traveler has returned. I hope the Dantooine is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. So, what should we talk oh, about? Oh, there's the Jedi corpse. Rip, dude. I have to go. I don't think it's you I have to talk to. Do you know this person? You still lurking around here? Hmm. Uh. If you're not, and they're now dead fool. So, if you find a couple human corpses down there, just grab their gear and their bodies. I'll pay you five hundred credits for each of them. Oh. That seems unusually generous of you. Hmm. Less salvagers that are still here have to stick together. Go to Zarin with the will? Hmm. Still need the lens picture. You convinced Jordan to give you? <laughs> yeah, we convinced him, all right. Hmm. You slice the will to indicate the salvage of his positions to you. So, what you're saying is we should bring the salvage corpse to Zaren instead. Hmm. He has the loot. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, don't mind me. Where does this go? Put the planes. Yeah, okay. Should make sure to get this done. Before I forget about it, then. Which way? That way. Hmm. 
running around in the speed of sound. Eventually we'll get there. Give the course for money? I suppose when it comes to the salvagers, all we did was just give them the core so we didn't hand them the will. So I probably could have done both of them then. That's fine, I can just run over to redo that. I should also talk to the farmer about the modulators as well. Yo! It's you again. Well, you know who I am. I figure you've got a reason for coming back. You want something? Uh... Dead salvager. I'll tell you what I tell all those grubby salvages. No body, no claim. I'm no longer even looking at wills or credit notes. And if you think that's gruesome, then go space yourself. Hmm, I have the bodies. I don't know how to will. Let me see the will. I'll be glad to get rid of this claim and get those salvagers out of my headquarters. Let me see. He left his claim to you. How do you even... You know, at this point, I don't even care. I'll have one of the militia get the claim for you. Hmm. Here's your claim. I'll go let the salvages know that it's been taken care of. Hopefully this is the last I hear of it. Okay. Yeah, if we had given the corpse away right then and there to the salvagers, um, we wouldn't get this done. Because we needed both, right? Woman before wanted to steal the cleans between the bodies from you. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that tracks. We got lightsaber focusing lens picture and improved deflection emitter. So I think, yeah, we have everything we need to create a lightsaber, don't we? Hmm. Very cool. It's you again. You want. Uh. Where are we going? Don't have Bowder or. He is needed to make a lightsaber. Oh, I could probably make one on the ship or something. Maybe. Hello there. Hmm. I'll be going. Right. We don't really have anything about that just yet, right? No, wait. Uh, sir. Founder is offered to help you construct a lightsaber. You found the three fixtures. Talked about her to find out how to proceed. As cool. Yeah. Never mind. Make your lightsaber now. Any luck on getting my modulator mm. back from Joran? I don't think anyone here will be able to help me. Didn't that guy give you the mission to kill the Kinrath's? Uh, Zarin? We already reported about the, the Kinrath mission in the cave to Zarin. I recovered your modulators. Here's your modulator and 500 credits that were extorted from you. Um. Hmm. I think I'll keep those 500 credits, actually. No worries, fun. Excellent. How did you deal with Joran? Uh. He's been dealt with. Really? You must have been very persuasive. I'm relieved this situation is finally resolved. You have more than earned this reward. Nice! I got light side points. Fuck. Heavy Sonic Blaster. Watchman Blaster. Hmm. I find the lightning is very persuasive. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Hmm. Askul is one of the mercenaries, so I could probably go and confront him, right? Or no, no, this... This leads me to the Kinrath Caves again. I wonder how I can do this redemption thing. Should I even? Hmm. I'll have to figure that out later. Alright, cool beans. What I am going to do now, though... ...is save the game. <laughs> At the start of the next stream, we will be crafting our first lightsaber. Now about that? And then we'll uh, try to get everything else that needs to be done here on this planet. Done with! Hopefully move on to the next one, somehow.
regardless thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you guys enjoyed your time here and i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day i'll catch you in the next one later dudes